And the mountains just speak to me, and they sing to me, and they restore me. One of the things I remember most about growing up in the mountains, all my little brothers and sisters, and there were many of us, we didn't have a lot of the same things that a lot of the city kids did. So we took to wandering around in the mountains. We made the most of everything we found. We would go as a group, pretend that we were the disciples. We would also chase butterflies. I especially was big on butterflies. And then at night, we would chase little fireflies. And sometimes we'd try to capture them and put holes in the lids so we could take them in our room. Because in my early, early days, we didn't have electricity. So we'd want to see if those fireflies would light up. And Dad would say, go let them out. They're not supposed to be in a jar. I would take old fruit jars and try to make uh, glass slippers like Cinderella. And I'd find an old broken umbrella and that would be my magic wand. When I imagined it, it was as real as the real thing. So I've always been blessed with that. And that's also been one of the reasons that I wanted to have a theme park like Dollywood, where we could recreate a lot of the things that I remember doing as a child. When we created Wildwood Grove, I really wanted it to be a place where kids and parents could experience what we did. Because when you're proud of where you're from, you want to share that with people. And a lot of little children live in big cities and subdivisions, and they don't really get that experience about being out in the wild and being able to talk or play with the animals. I've tried to create something where I want them to experience what I did as a child. But I think it's a place where parents can also kind of reflect and refresh and just fantasize and using their imaginations. So we like to say that Dolly is our dreamer in chief. So much of what we're doing is bringing the memories and the stories and the songs that she's sung to life. And it's all about bringing families closer together. Wildwood Grove really is just another way to do just that. Wildwood Grove is the most elaborate and highly themed expansion in our history. And it's fresh and new, but it's also charming and warm and hospitable like the rest of Dollywood. There's a sense of discovery when you first enter through the fallen log. And then there's just all kinds of things for families to see and do together. So when I was first looking at the uh, design behind this land, I mean, it really was connected to Dolly's own experiences. And it's something that I experienced myself as a kid that inspired me because I had this direct connection to what she was talking about. And we used to go into the woods on a summer afternoon and create a whole storyline of fun just because of the environment that you were in. Almost everything we have here, that all the wood, all the rock, all that stuff comes from the surrounding area. This has grown from the Smokies and is part of the Smokies. The creative process takes some time. I mean, we've literally been working for years on this and we've brought an incredible team together to go out and find the most unique experiences that are out there. We span the globe for the very best at what they do, artisans, entertainers, chefs and culinary folks, engineers, technicians. We think a lot about the rides and attractions that we select because we want all different types of experiences. We're standing on Wildwood Grove construction site and we're at that stage where we finished design, we're in construction, and we're about 100 days from opening. So, real exciting point, it's all coming out of the ground. And I think one of the best things about working on a project of this size is seeing it from concept to schematics to construction and literally bringing it to life. So this job site, we actually removed over 250,000 cubic yards of dirt Typically, we try to do this type of work during the summer, which is our dry season. Unfortunately, 2018 was our wettest year on record. So, mud has been our biggest challenge this winter. As you can see, unlike most winters where we have frozen ground, the gravel path is the route for our bear trail ride. This is our water feature, which is the source of our creek. 
and on this side of our bridge, we have our play area for the kids. This is our transition into our existing park. Where we sit right here is our location for the log entry portal. And there's roughly a 20 foot grade difference between our new land and the existing park. So at about this point in Wildwood Grove, the guests will be able to see the Wildwood tree. They'll be able to hear the laughter at the creek. They'll also be able to see Dragonflyer. And then they'll really begin to understand some of that special essence of Wildwood Grove. The butterflies will be sparkling. All the landscape will be grown in. And think about it, that's just about 100 days from today. Right now behind me, you can see Wildwood Grove Creek. And this is the construction that's going on. So about where that piece of equipment is, is where the Wildwood Grove tree is going to be. So it's 50 foot tall and the canopy is about 50 foot wide. So imagine what that's going to look like when it's finished. We're getting the opportunity to create this iconic centerpiece for this land here where it's this beautiful, huge tree on top of this great big rock structure. And I think what makes it really awesome is it, it lives in different ways throughout the day. So during the day, it's this, this nice big iconic tree, sculptural, um, it's got a lot of color around it. In the evening and in the night, the butterflies come alive with an LED show. And so music and lighting effects and this beautiful, huge canvas of butterflies, obviously iconic to Dollywood, are coming alive. The pieces will all go down in, in chunks to, to Dollywood. It's going to be about 40 semi loads worth of big branches going down the road. The process is about 100 trips of the crane to take these branches up one by one. And it's 640 butterflies all together plug into a control system. That notion of placemaking and that notion of we have created this beautiful environment for you to explore is so important. People finding a little respite from the world, finding a little time with friends, with family, by fostering that and creating that, that's, uh, that's a pretty magical thing. So this project actually started in summer of 2016, believe it or not. And we spent a little over a year taking it from many concepts all the way through construction documents. And we've been on the construction site uh, almost a year now. Unlike a single attraction where we know it's gonna sit, so it really takes a lot to develop an entire land. I do think you have to enjoy construction to be in this industry. It is, I mean, you're solving problems all day long, but the real joy happens on opening day. The best moment about Wildwood will be when those families have experienced it and they're exiting Wildwood Grove and that mom and dad hug each other and those kids really are thinking back and they say they've just had the best day ever. I will definitely be here on opening day. It's almost like putting closure to the project, like that reward factor that you're looking forward to. I think a couple of the ahas for me were moments when this land started to come together. So it really was a big moment for me when we started putting the landscape in because it started to become much more real than just the architecture. And we have some really pretty good sized trees for our brand new land. When I started building the rock base for the tree, when you start to see the scale of that happening at the center of the, of the land, it was just a big, big moment for me. Is that the first time you got to drive the car by yourself? Who is that? Dolly. Dolly. Can you show us what the train says? I remember going to Dollywood. As young as five, my mom would take me in the summer. She's a school teacher, so we had all summer and like school breaks to go to Dollywood. And Brandon and I started going when we were dating. And now we enjoy taking our kiddos and we like for the grandparents to go also because when the grandparents go, we can ride adult rides. <laughs> the earliest picture I have in here is from May 1995 and it's going to be May 2019, 24 years ago. But, but Zeke is on this same carousel, isn't that cool? I know, I love it. That was um, 2004. Mom, that's an awful picture. Why do we have that? 
Oh, the log ride? Oh my goodness. I know. Can't believe Tinley's tall enough to drive the cars by herself. We the went swing. all the time. It's a place where you just feel at home. And in this world, that's a good place to be. We knew there was an expansion at Dollywood and it was going to be really great. The more we've looked into it and kind of researched what was coming, mm -hmm. I am excited with for the indoor play area and the kids are excited about the acorn ride and if there's a frog ride and the fact that there are going to be characters there. It's going to be something that they can enjoy now with the smaller rides and as they grow older, they're gonna be able to talk my mom into getting on a roller coaster. So it's something for the whole family to enjoy. Wildwood Grove, I think, will definitely be a cornerstone memory for the kids. So we're just a couple of days from when our guests arrive. So there's anticipation in the air. The construction crew is furiously working on those last details. And this is the portal where guests are entering the land. Their sense of discovery starts here. And it's really where guests get their first sense that there's something special coming that they can explore, they can play, and they can imagine on their own. So welcome to Wildwood Grove. So here we are at Dragonflyer. This is Dollywood's suspended family coaster. Suspended, because your feet aren't touching the ground. And Dragonflyer really is the experience of like riding on the back of a dragonfly. You swoop, you turn, you come close to the ground, you go through a tunnel, you hover over water. It feels really big to littles, and it feels really comfortable to mom. So here in Hidden Hollow, we're indoors, but it looks like we're outdoors. We have great play structures. Kids of all ages can come in and play. And this floor is inclusive play for children who may use an assistive device. And they can come in and they can interact with the infinity floor. And there are several of these interactions throughout Hidden Hollow. <laughs> One of the things we focused on was guest comfort. Be it the heaters that are above us in the queue line, the fans to make sure that we are cool on the hot days, the guest Wi-Fi that's in this area, or the ability to refill your bottle at our drinking fountains. Till and Harvest is gonna offer guests Smoky Mountain Mexican food with a Dollywood flair. This restaurant is gonna allow our guests to build their burritos, build their tacos, and then go outside and sit on our beautiful Till and Harvest patio. So I am sitting in one of the acorn vehicles on Treetop Tower. And soon you will hear the laughter and giggles of kids as the acorns twirl and swirl. And this is just a great family ride for everyone to enjoy. Growing up in the Smokies, one of Dolly's favorite things as a child was to swing in the tree swing in her backyard. And we want to let the guests in Wildwood Grove have the same experience. So welcome to the great tree swing. Dolly's heart is about music, and one of the best things about this area is that we've been able to activate music. So kids can come in and play, their families can be a jam band. Black Bear Trail is one of the most unique rides here in Wildwood Grove. Here you get to ride on the back of a black bear. Families can ride together, adults can ride, children can ride, and this area allows parents to walk around, follow their children, get that perfect Instagram moment, and show off their memory here at Dollywood. Frogs and fireflies are synonymous with the Smokies. So here, the frogs and the fireflies are in a fun game of chase. So it's like being on the back of a frog, jumping lily pad to lily pad as you go around the circle. So families are gonna love riding on the Mad Mockingbird. You can control your own experience and you can swing as far out or in as you want to. So each ride experience is unique and custom to how you want to ride this ride. So our 50 foot tree really is the heart of our land. And as you can see, it's very special. It's a tree, but it has these beautiful butterflies on it. So during the day, the butterflies sparkle and shimmer, and at night, the tree comes to life. So midsummer, our guests will be able to enjoy a lighted story experience and really learn a little bit more about the story of Wildwood Grove and life in the Smokies. 
very soon our guests are going to be knowing exactly what makes Wildwood Grove so very special. And one of our very first special guests is Dolly herself. And we can't wait for her to see the finished product and show it off to all the guests that are going to be coming. The special person whose childhood story and more importantly her very special heart serves as the real inspiration for Wildwood Grove. The lady that we refer to as our dreamer in chief, Miss Dolly Parton. Wildwood Grove is the biggest thing that we've ever done here, and I think it's just beautiful. Of course, these rides and experiences represent some of the things that I used to dream about when I was a little girl. Now, I used to watch all the birds and the butterflies and hope that I could fly out of the holler where I was living and to explore all the beautiful, colorful world outside. And when I was about 18, I actually was able to spread my wings and explore that world out there. And no matter where I've gone though, I've always taken these beautiful Smoky Mountains with me, telling my stories, writing songs about my family in the mountains and just sharing my dreams. I know it took us a long time to get it all put together because we've been dreaming about this for quite a while. And I remember a few years back when we first started on the plans, it looked so good on paper, it always does. But just to see it come to life is absolutely wonderful. What I'm really looking forward to, I want to be sitting off to the side and I want to watch as people come into the land and look over and see this stream bed and their faces when they see the tree. Parents with children in hand and children all excited and that they're, they can't wait to get down and into the fun. I, that's, that to me is the payoff. That's the payoff. That's what this is all about. I can't wait to have my family come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very proud walking up this pathway, going through the portal and, and coming into this land and, and knowing I had been part of, of, of making this a reality. What really is fulfilling to me is just delivering fun. I kind of learned early that whatever I wanted to do professionally, I wanted to be fun. So I just can't wait to see the eyes and the expressions of our guests as they watch the wildwood tree at night and wonder. And we put a lot of thought and time into the new theme area and so it'll just be really fulfilling. If we do our job right, the guests will have a true sense of awe when they come over the hill and they see this beautiful big sculpt. So if we create that sense of awe, and then we have that thing of grandma meet you by the tree, or I want to sit here when I see the show this time, and they have a spot that they like to see the show because there's, you can see it from all different sides. And we create that sense, again, that sense of place making where that's the place we want to go. Take me to the place with the tree. I want to watch the show. I want to make sure I get my ice cream early, and we're going to sit here because I don't want to miss anything. That's gonna be what we did this for, right? Is that sense of community coming together, seeing a really cool show, walking away, talking about it, remembering it, the photo next to it. Those memories are why we create these things and if we achieve that, then we've done everything we wanted to do. I love going, knowing. When I was a kid, I knew how excited I was to go to Dollywood. So when I go, I'm super excited for my kids to experience that. Hopefully one day they'll say, do you remember when we went to Wildwood Grove on the day it opened? Treasure these moments because they go by too quickly. At a time when our lives are hectic, at a time when the world has chaos, Dollywood really allows families to step away from that and enjoy these moments together. As parents, we know that time passes way too fast, and we watch our kids grow up. We want to maximize every moment, and as a mom, I can't wait for the opportunity for me and my daughter to sit here and enjoy Wildwood Grove and enjoy the tree and when it comes to life and build those moments together and have those memories. Even though we had a hard time being poor, hardworking people, there was still a lot of beauty and a lot of good times and a lot of fun. And those are the things that you remember. And I just wanted all of that to be in Wildwood Grove so everybody could experience it and 
and love it like I do. It's not only just great for other children's imagination, it really is delightful to me to go back in time and think about all those things. I try very hard to be an inspiration. I ask God to let me do things that will uplift people and glorify Him. That's my, that's my prayer and my wish. So I hope more than anything that I have been an inspiration and that I could be some sort of light and someone that children could look toward and think, well, if she did it, she was just a poor girl, kind of like a Cinderella story. There's a wish to come true and there's a dream to dream and dreams are possible.